Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, definitely subscribe our channel. Please like the video guys. Then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students as well. Definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates. So this is a, these are completely our probable solutions case. If there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. You can also suggest your solutions case. Let's see the first one. Which of the following is the correct way to add data in the key CS102 as CS1021 value as database management systems to a dictionary named courses. So for first question, second option is the probable solution guys. Oh sorry. Oh, third option. Courses key equals value. Third option, right? Next, second one, what is the probability of Monty not opening the door with goat given the hypothesis, uh, given the hypothesis that you initially chose the door which has car. So it is first option guys that is zero right next what should be replaced with question mark in line 10 so that there is high chance that final choice is equals to q so here we have got two probable solutions the first one is third option and the other one is first option guys next fourth question Given that you have a sorted list of 2048 elements, what is the maximum number of comparisons to search such an element using linear search? Can binary search do it in less number of comparisons? Guys, please watch the video till then. Don't skip the video, guys. You may miss some content if you do so. So do watch full video, right? So fourth question, option B is the probable solution. Yes, binary search can do it more efficiently. Linear search takes 2048 comparisons right next fifth one what is the primary use of a file with dot wav extension so for fifth question fourth option storing audio recordings is the probable solution guys next sixth one what does this program print in the in the end so guys before getting to know the solution about this question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so guys for the course the joy of computing in python we have collected past nptl assignment mcqs guys with five years of nptl experience here you are going to get a huge number of 125 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link 125 mcqs guys for one person it is 150 rupees for five persons combinedly 500 rupees so individually you can get for less price if you share it along with five persons so please ask your friends to join in your group and one person from the group mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at the gmail.com mail me to this email id if you're confirmed to make the purchase and do take this 125 mcq spec already many students have taken it our pack in the past and have prepared for the final exam guys so for 125 mcqs for one person 150 rupees for five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so the validity will be till the exam results day so no need to worry about the validity or access so such option is also provided guys so google drive pdf restricted link this is the mail id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so already many students have started taking the, this pack already guys so take it now itself so that you can get better preparation from now itself for one person it is 150 for five persons combined 500 rupees guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the sixth solution so for sixth question what what does this program print in the end so for sixth question first option is the probable solution guys next seventh one In binary research, the list gets divided in every iteration to find the element. So for seventh question, it is first option true guys. 
Next, eighth one. Which of the following are requirements for binary search to work correctly? So for eighth question, option C is the probable so third option, guys. The list must be sorted. Next, ninth one. Given an array 4, 2, 7, 1, 3. What will be the array after the third pass of bubble sort? So for ninth question, third option is the probable solution, guys. So third option is the probable solution. Next, tenth and final question. So guys, uh, there are programming assignments as well at the end. So don't forget to watch that. So last question, tenth one. How many swaps are performed in iteration 3 for bubble sorting? Enter 0 if the list is sorted in less than 3 iterations. The list is sorted within only for uh, with 2 iterations. So it is less than 3. So we should not give 2 guys. It is 0 only because they are saying that 0. We have to enter 0 if the list is sorted in less than 3 iterations. So less than 3 means we have to give 0 only. So that's it guys. So now let's see the solutions for programming as well. I am going with third one guys. This is the third assignment. So third programming assignment. Let's come from 3 to 1. So this is the programming guys. Program or code for the third question. So you can take a screenshot of this. So this is the code guys. If you want we can zoom this for you. So don't forget to give the indentations correct guys. This is the third question code. Right. So you can see we have already compiled click on the compile and run button and submit as well. So the private private test cases are also already passed. So I'm directly showing you the code. This is 100% correct code guys. Right. Now let's see the second question code so this is the programming assignment 2 and this is the code guys so below they have given the uh, already predefined code we have to uh, just type the part of the code so this is the part of the code you have to type i think the definition uh, the def function is all already given so you have to just note this one only so take care of the indentation guys each and every character is very important and each and every space is also important in python due to that indentation okay hope you have noted it down or you can take a screenshot guys if needed now let's see the first question code so second question uh, programming assignment 2 also 100 percent correct guys next first one so this is the first question code guys so this is the first question code. Guess here I want to uh, tell you that so public test cases are already passed for first question, but the private test cases are uh, only one showing the correct and remaining two are not giving the right answer. So uh, if it come to my notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section regarding the complete code. But this this is the partial code, guys. It is giving three correct answers for the all the three correct answers for the public test pri, uh, test cases and one out of three for private test cases so until then you can note this code guys for the remaining two questions programming assignment 2 and programming assignment 3 for these two codes both are 100 percent correct only guys only for this first question private test cases are not getting passed only one out of three is getting passed so until then note this question guys note this code so that's it guys so do remember about the exam preparation mcqs 125 mcqs we are going to provide you for one person it is 150 rupees for five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys the validity will be till given till the exam results day so this is the mail id to mail us bk179417 at the red gmail.com so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this forever so until the next video goodbye thank you